all right so greetings of the day uh, this video will show you how you can run two operating systems in one computer the thing is we are not doing a dual boot here like we are not uh, making it to the boot I will have Windows 7 and I will have Linux Ubuntu as well so we are not doing dual boot here we will run the same two operating system not same different two operating system from the same login and we'll be doing it from the virtual box which is completely free and can be downloaded from here so the virtual box is Oracle virtual box which can be downloaded from this website the link uh, you can see uh, www.virtualbox.org which can be found in the videos description as well so if you have a windows computer you will need to click on windows host or otherwise choose your platform choose your operating system on which you want to install this and then uh, just install it so I have it downloaded here already so let me go ahead and this is for Windows because as you can see I'm running Windows 7 so now let me click here and uh, let us go ahead and install this virtual box first while it is installing uh, let me tell you one thing that we will be installing virtual box and then we will be installing ubuntu at the same time so we don't need to make any changes we can just uh, keep clicking next yes and install so this was the second file so we can leave it and all we need to do is uh, we'll need to keep clicking on this uh, and yes it will ask if you want to confirm say yes now it will start down um, installing virtual box on my computer once the virtual box is downloaded <coughs> at the same time uh, what we can do is we can download Ubuntu so in order to download Ubuntu this is the direct link uh, you can find this link in the video description as well so I have it downloaded on my system uh, as well so this sh should be a zip file make a note this should be a, a zip file okay so now as we can see uh, still the Oracle uh, virtual box is being downloaded and yes it has been finished so it is easy to install just, just click and install I have downloaded uh, my uh, Ubuntu zip file already so here's what uh, we're gonna do so now let me tell you a little bit what what virtual box is virtual box is like a virtual machine inside your operating system so as you have a, a machine which works on windows 7 the operating system is windows 7 now within windows 7 we are creating another machine which will work exactly like a computer but it, it all everything will be virtual so now let's go ahead and install ubuntu in our virtual machine so uh, in order to uh, install first we will need to create a new machine here so click on this new button in the name box type your uh, operating systems name as, 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 as soon as you type in the operating system name the type will automatically be Linux as this is the part of Linux and the version based on your computer click on next so here you can define the memory size that we want to give to our uh, operating system it, it cannot exceed the ram that you have installed in your actual machine so let's give it to 2 gb okay so it's 2 gb click on next so now here you can set up create a virtual hard disk now click on create 
click on create virtual hard disk click on fix size you can also click on uh, dynamically allocated so I want to give it at least uh, 40 GB so as you can see I have increased to 40 GB now click on create so now, now I, as you can see it is creating a fixed medium inside the main machine it will take some time so now almost our virtual machine is ready once our virtual machine is ready we will need uh, as the desktop might you have been downloaded from here it is almost a file of uh, 1 GB so you can download the Ubuntu desktop zip file from here and the most stable version of Ubuntu desktop is 16.04 however I am using 17.04 Ubuntu about this is a free Linux operating system uh, like you know Windows needs money and Windows needs uh, you know registration and they you will need you need to purchase Windows in order to have it genuine but Ubuntu this is a free operating system which you can install code and redistribute as this is a part of open source Linux and that is the uh, one reason I like it very much it's taking more than I expected so let's do one thing let's decrease the size of our okay let's get it for 20 GB and click on create so this will be a bit faster I believe because this is just for the demonstration purpose okay so as you can see the, uh, let us go ahead and uh, take a look on the requirement system requirement so you should have at least 2 gigahertz dual core processor or maybe better 2 GB of system memory 25 GB of free hard disk space and a DVD drive or USB port so that you can install and if you have internet access there that would be great so now as you can see 23% is done let it create its hard disk right now so the things that you will need is Oracle virtual box and Ubuntu file, Ubuntu zip file. All right, so two minutes left. We are almost done here. Ubuntu can be downloaded from here and Oracle Virtual Box can be downloaded from here. Both are free, both are without any cost, and both are the part of open source. should be faster than the previous one let us try to create a new one
Okay, so now we have created a machine which we call Ubuntu. So first we will need to give it a source file so that it can install the system. In order to do that, we'll need to click on settings and then click on storage. Then click on this controller IDP and click on empty. As you can see a little icon like a CD or DVD here. You will need to choose virtual optical disk file because Ubuntu they always want to uh, get installed with the CD. So here's what I have in my computer. I have downloaded this Ubuntu 7.04 version. Click on OK and now the file is loaded. So now the, the situation is we have a system ready, a virtual system ready. We have inserted our optical disk inside it which have the files of um, Ubuntu desktop. So all we need to do is restart the system. So from this button we are gonna start this. And uh, as you can see it will automatically detect the Ubuntu file here and it will ask if we want to install or try Ubuntu from here okay almost done I believe all right so yes it's almost there Ubuntu 17.04 is the version here. Um, once this is uh, like nearby the thing, I think I will leave this video here because uh, I have another video which uh, describes everything how you can install Ubuntu in your computer. And uh, you can go to my channel, you can try to check how you can install Ubuntu so here's what we have now so right now I'm just gonna click on try Ubuntu however you can click on install Ubuntu to get it installed if you want help how you can uh, install I mean if you need the complete information you can go to another video which I have in my channel I can click on try Ubuntu and it will let me try the Ubuntu here right now. All right, so it's almost there, I believe. you can see here uh, we have Ubuntu installed everything is working and uh, right now you can just click here and start installing like I said you can go ahead and uh, check with my another video which have the complete information how you can install Ubuntu for now thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoy it and uh, this is basically you can use if you want to do some coding or if you want to just try out uh, this operating system. So you can just go ahead and install it in your virtual box first and if you like it you can go ahead and uh, install in your computer for the for real. When I say real, uh, this one is also real but the only thing is this is virtual. And like if you want to try out few things, if you want to experiment and you don't want to mess up uh, mess up with your system so you can always go ahead and uh, try this and this, this really works so thank you very much for watching this video and you have a good day bye bye